I should not be involved in any campaign investigation. I have studied the rules and considered their comments and evaluation. I believe those recommendations are right and just. See, the thing with Sessions is, I want to see him go, simply because of his uh, broad-minded appeal when it comes to uh, pot smoking. Speaking of pot smoking, here in Canada, liberal, supposedly Canada, we are supposedly going to legalize, one day it's coming, we're, we were promised by the uh, boy wonder, we're going to get our pot. However, this week in London, Ontario, where I live, this past week, uh, police had a huge coordinated raid on five dispensaries that were helping sick people get their medicine. Now, in London, Ontario, every year, the police union and guys that do the kind of deal with the city come up and ask for more money and more money and more money. And I would like to know how much money was wasted on it. They said they were investigating for God knows how long. Now these guys are freaking out because they know legalization is coming and then they're gonna, they're not gonna have anything to do anymore. So, you know, I mean, this is, this is the thing. Once a police state gets established, they don't want to give up that power anymore because it's keeping people employed, it's keeping uh, narrow-minded people happy and uh, you know things can go on shitty just like they have for the last 50 years. The Cheeto Bandito has been criticized by the UN. UN rights rapporteur Ben Emerson denounced Trump and his policy on torture. Of course torture works, it's wonderful. A staggering level of ill-preparedness to govern. That's the way an Englishman would put it, you know. It's, 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 it's a pol and nothing cuts you down more than the Englishman. If an Englishman tells you something, it will be done in such a dry and hard-hitting manner. So I have no doubt Ben Emerson, uh, you know, and uh, Wright's rapporteur is in Orange Cheeto's uh, gun sights, I guess. Uh, I always thought with torture, you know, that, that uh, okay, you should tell, tell Cheeto Bandito that, okay, you want to okay torture on one condition, that you allow Jesse Ventura to waterboard you. And I'm not talking about, you know, once. I'm talking about 20 times. And if you can get through a few minutes and say, it's okay for us to do this, then go ahead, pass your your murderous torture state. Following my hundredth YouTube episode, Google, uh, aka YouTube, aka uh, Alphabet, aka ginormous, uh, sent me a survey about my channel. The first that they said, well. Are you planning to monetize this channel? Yes, no, maybe. I'm thinking, if I put down no, then they're gonna throttle the views. So I put down, well, maybe. Like, make it worth my while, you know? I mean, let me get some views in and, and uh, no, fuck, I'm not gonna monetize my channel. They hate people like me. I just use their bandwidth. They ask me other questions. Is YouTube fun? Well, fuck no, it's not fun. So I put no. In what way is being a YouTube creator not fun? 
<laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> so I wrote down a few, few little things that, you know, pet peeves of mine. Nothing too nasty because I don't want them to shut down the channel because they get too pissed off. I mean, I'm sure it just goes into a, a big numbers thing, ones and zeros, and it turns it in, mixes the information in with all the others. I think the thing that really irks me the most about my YouTube experience, and this isn't even being a creator, it's being a viewer, is the recommendations that they send me that I keep clicking, not interested, don't like it, don't like this channel, I'm not interested in Fox News Live, I'm not interested in CNN Live, I'm not interested in any of that. Over and over and over again, every time I go to watch YouTube, I think, well, my subscriptions, watched a few of those. Let's see what by clicking on home and see what the recommendations are. Oh look, Trump channels and Fox News. And just what I wanted. And I find it interesting that there's such a consolidation of power in America today uh, that when you watch the major news organizations all you have are um, one band of plutocrats versus another brand of plutocrats all fighting for the same plutocracy and you get this major catastrophe going on in the world the F fukushima nuclear plant falls into the sea is that on the mainstream news i don't think so nuclear fucking weapons for generations People have sought to put an end to the insanity of nuclear fucking weapons. We don't need nuclear weapons. We've got one right on the shores of Japan. Enough to poison the entire Pacific Ocean. More fucking nuclear weapons. You need the destructive power. Now we see Trump's paranoia on display, twit in chief, twitting, uh, tweeting that uh, uh, Obama was wiretapping him. No proof, of course. And, and he, <laughs> it could, could happen given the, the scurrilousness and uh, uh, disgusting propensity of the plutocratic class to shit on each other as well they're shitting on the general populace. I'm sure everybody wiretaps everybody. I mean, everybody's wiretapped, right? Why shouldn't, why shouldn't they be wiretapped too? Holy fuck, when you're going to build a surveillance state, this is what's going to happen. The great giant orange crustacean I see has boosted the U.S. military budget by 54 billion, with a B, dollars. Isn't it amazing? Isn't, isn't it absolutely amazing? There's always money for death. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether your roads are falling apart, whether half the country lives in poverty. There's always money to be made supplying the army with the tools of the trade. Put down your books and pick up a gun. You're going to have a whole lot of fun. My apologies to Country Joe and the Fish. At least I didn't do the fish cheer. Give me an F! I noticed that one of my favorite sites, the US Uncut, has had to shut down. And I think it was probably due to lack of funding, which is very unfortunate because there was some excellent, excellent articles. So, very sorry to see U.S. Uncut bite the dust. However, this is from Common Dreams and Trump's EPA tells big oil and gas no need to report methane pollution. So, uh, 
the EPA announced that oil and gas companies will no longer be required to report how much methane their fracking wells and drill sites emit. Don't have to know. So shut the fuck up. Did you see the YouTube video with Bernie Sanders and Nina Turner supporting the striking Nissan workers in, was it Mississippi or Alabama? I can't I think of Mississippi. The one of those, those right to work states, right? Right to work. Right to starve states. What about Hillary, where was Hillary? Where was she? she just not standing with the workers the way Bernie and, and Nina were. Hillary's been coming out of retirement. Isn't that interesting? She's got her eye on, on 2020 and they're gonna, it, it's, it's gonna be guaranteed. You watch, they're gonna try and bring her back. And the Democrats will forever slink into oblivion. I'd like to send a little shout out to the people that I, whose comments I didn't get around to answering this last time. I would like to answer more of them, but I have these temporary bouts of illiteracy from watching television. Anyway, I'd like to say hello to uh, Bill Began. He likes my little story about finding roaches. Man, desperate times call for desperate measures, Bill. Cynthiana, Cynthiana. Matthews, thank you. Thank you for leaving a comment. Thank you for viewing. I've not got nothing better to do but make these pathetic pleas for attention. So thank you to everybody who uh, fulfills that need in me and makes me a human. I guess online I'm just pixels. Pixels. All we are is pixels. That's it. Soon all will be pixelated. Soon everything will become the pixelated universe. So we will be unable to distinguish what is real and what is false. Like the news. What is real and what is false. These questions keep me up at night. And I'm sure that many of you have thought the same thing. Rambling. What was it? Rambling? My favorite comment. Rambling and unscripted. Yes, it's un definitely unscripted. I don't work from a script. If I worked from a script, you wouldn't like the show because it would be too wooden and I might as well get one of those computer voice things and you type in the hey, hey, uh, uh, secret UFO base in Antarctica. <sighs> Yeah, the, 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 the shit that's out there, the flat earth people, the, the, the secret base in Antarctica, the plebeians, the... What is this? It, it, is everybody on YouTube fucking crazy? Or is it just me?